the automatic retraction control, the automatic retarding control uh, on this truck, in my opinion, is what sets us apart from uh, from our competition mm -hmm. and from our predecessor. We have a uh, state-of-the-art, industry-leading automatic traction control, so we're able to lock in the longitude line, so all six wheels going this way, and lock in the cross axles. Uh, all automatic, 100% automatic, uh, no operator intervention. We're also the only manufacturer out there that's integrated with the steering system, so the truck knows if it's starting to steer, uh, and it will allow that truck to actually uh, continue the steer and still be locked up. We use a wet uh, clutch multi-disc design, mm -hmm. uh, so as we need more torque through those wheels, we're able to actually force more oil through there to, uh, to give us uh, more traction. Mm -hmm. The system is designed to adjust and or eliminate wheel slip, uh, but again, what separates us is the fact that we can be 100% automatic mm -hmm. uh, without any operation uh, of anything else. No button, no uh, foot pedal to push. Uh, none of that. So the other thing we talked about was automatic retarding control. So our system uh, utilizes the same engine compression brake that we've had in the past, but now we have an automatic version of that. So no longer does the operator have to know what gear to go downhill uh, and what level of retardation, and no longer does he have to modulate the, the service brakes to keep that at around 2,000 in, uh, RPM so that you don't risk engine overspeed. Now we're gonna turn and go down to 25% grade. I'm gonna get it up to about fifth gear. Let off the accelerator. The automatic retarder control comes on. You can see 25% grade. It's on high, goes to medium, and maintains that then engine RPM at around 2,000. If it starts to get to be too extreme, It'll actually slow down the machine, downshift, to try and maintain and find that sweet spot that it wants to go in. And all the operator has to do is take his foot off the accelerator. He puts the foot back on the accelerator, goes right back to, uh, to operate that machine. It also has uh, a flat and level sensor in it, so it knows if it's flat and level and the level of retardation is less uh, on flat and level. Um, that is, it is coming down a steep grade. So automatic rec, target, rec, uh, automatic traction control and automatic retarding control are two great features that the operator doesn't have to do anything but just drive the truck. Makes him a safer operator yeah. and a much more productive operator. Now, are those standard on this? this those machine? are standard. Okay. On the 735 uh, and above, you will get automatic retarding control. Mm -hmm. Uh, and on the 730 and above, you will get automatic traction control. Okay. And the, the distinction there with automatic traction control is there are systems out there that, that will lock some differentials, but not all of them. Correct. Correct. So when I say that we're the only manufacturer, uh, that's, that's, that's what we mean is we're the ones that do every single phase of the traction control, right. not just bits and pieces. Mm -hmm. Uh, and that's what sets us apart from, from the competition. Now, the, the uh, integration with the steering, does that then allow uh, some differential in wheel speed from inside to outside the, the turn? Absolutely. Okay. So it works much like the motor graders where they have compensating uh, load sensors on there to allow the left front, if you're going to turn left, it will actually slow down, pick up the right front, and actually engage it so that it kind of helps pull you around. Okay. Um, if you're running a, another system or an older truck that, that Caterpillar has, once you lock yourself in with the button and the switch, you could only go straight.